Okay, today I am going to try something new. I'm going to show you how to take one recipe and make it three different ways. Sometimes I have used the oat bran here in replacement for the oatmeal. And um, I'm going to show you how really you can just grind up your oats. We're going to see if it actually makes a bigger volume loaf here. I got a new pan, and so we're going to see how many we can make with one batch. Okay, so so far what I've put in here is 40 grams of oats, but of course I put them in the bolt and grinded them up. Then I took three egg whites, a half a scoop of protein powder, and then what I did with my strawberries, um, my food scale will let me put in what it is, the item, so I put strawberries, and I just took it up till it was almost at three carbs. I have seven for this, I'm allowed seven for this recipe, but between the protein powder having you know one to two carbs in it and then I'm going to add the sugar-free fat-free pudding mix the powder that will put me up at seven okay so so you can see here I took both of the same exact ingredients all I did with the ones on the right is I used the magic bullet and I blended everything together the other one I didn't do any of that I just mixed it with a whisk and um, let me just add that a lot of people have asked about the, the sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. All you do is you actually take it directly from the box, you know, in powder version, and you just weigh out two grams of the actual powder. Don't mix it with the milk or make it a pudding. Okay, so we're just getting ready to bake these now. Okay, the third and final way I'm going to prep the same recipe is I'm going to make them into actual flapjacks. So I'm, and the only, and the other difference I am gonna do is on the others I used banana sugar-free fat-free pudding mix to make it like a strawberry banana loaf. These I'm gonna use the cheesecake. So I just want to show you. All you're gonna do is just sprinkle in. It's not much until you hit two grams, and that's it. Okay, so I'm making the flapjacks now. As you can see, I've got five on here, and I actually still have enough to make another one. Um, later today, I'm actually going to post um, some of my food prep and, you know, just ways to make it easier and what you should be doing to make it easier. Um, first off, I, I would suggest, you know, make sure you have your food plan, you know, readily available. I always have, these are all my old ones, but I have these on my refrigerator laminated so I can just go to it quickly and see what I need. Okay, so as you can see, I've finished the loaves and the flapjacks. I used the same recipe, like I said, for all three. Um, the ones over here are, you know, just regular oats. I just whipped them with a whisk. This I mixed all together in the bullet, and then these I did um, like a pancake version. These are so much quicker. So for me personally, I prefer to do the pancakes because I like them fresh and I can make them in the morning. And I also like, you know, you get six pancakes for one recipe. And for some people that train really early in the morning, they may not feel like they can eat their whole meal at the time. So you could eat like three or four of them and have two after. I don't seem to have that problem, but um, that's pretty much it.